Hey future Brie, we've tried to film this so many times but you talk too much. So okay, <laughs> hopefully by the time you're watching this there are a few things that I want to have achieved. One, um, I, we, whatever, currently doing some online courses. I really hope that you finish those um, and I also hope that you've done one that's not work related because at the moment you're just doing work related ones. Second thing, we, I, oh my gosh, I don't, uh, we are planning a trip overseas. Um, so I hope that happened. If it did, let me know. Please want to hear about it. Um, where I think I'll be this time, well, when you're watching this, probably still in this house. We're quite settled. We've got our routine. It's all really nice. Um, I don't know if I'll still be working the job that I'm in at the moment because it's been a bit challenging lately. It's a combination of just general workplace politics and um, I also don't feel like I'm growing currently and as someone who wants everything yesterday it's frustrating when I don't feel like I'm growing so I don't know if I'll still be there if I am that's cool I hope it's improved if I'm not what you doing so I want to have changed in the sense that I want to be happier and healthier I right now I'm doing a lot of things to try and improve those two things I'm not overly happy just work things and whatnot. Um, so yeah, I hope you're happier and healthier. Cool. Sorry for this being a little bit long, Bing. I tried to make it short. I talked real quick and everything. Hey, Future Bing. This morning, I head out to the post depot down the road to pick up this huge box, this huge box from Disney full of Black Panther toys. <laughs> Look, they even sent me a bag to carry it in. They sent me some toys. They want me to do some kind of unboxing uh, since the Google uh, Pixel one that I uploaded last year did so well. So I've been drawing and thinking and listening to music trying to brainstorm because I can't just do like a, a normal unboxing. That's not me. That's not what I do. It has to have some kind of joke. Best thing I've got so far is something to do with like a talking spider. Um, I'm going to workshop it. Maybe get it to a point where I can actually make something. When I got back, I spent the rest of the morning putting together a behind the scenes video for Patreon for The Bothering 2. I made a little video particularly about the final scene where I'm being puppeted by Jenny. And since it's been exclusive on Patreon now for a year, um, I think I'll link to that unlisted in the down. I'm home alone again, even though Phil actually did get back yesterday. He's gone out camping for the night. On the coldest weekend of the entire year, by the way. I. I'm very happy that I'm not with him. So I've kind of colonized downstairs. I spent some time drawing. This is apparently how I brainstorm now. My plan for today's video was actually to talk about Logan Paul and uh, that whole debacle and what it means for the future of YouTube, but it's such a huge rabbit hole. I've been sitting on the couch for the last hour doing research. I've been watching a lot of Logan Paul videos. Uh, which fills me with a weird energy. And I've not even really scratched the surface. If I'm gonna talk about this stuff, I wanna do it right, I wanna get it accurate. I wanna do it once and get my thoughts across as concisely and as meaningfully as possible and then not talk about it again. Cause I don't, I don't want it to take up any more time. But I think it is an important thing for me to talk about. So uh, maybe the next PB, maybe the one after, uh, but I need, it, I need it to be right. I'm gonna hop over to the Canon and talk through some recent pages from my sketchbook. So this is today's page, uh, clearly Black Panther inspired. I'm trying to, for the life of me, find a way of making a, a funny video. Here's another page I was uh, working on today. I was, a couple pages back is when I was at the Ned for the Lush event. This is my personification of the hotel based on the portrait of the guy called Ned that the hotel is named for and a bunch of uh, mantras of his. The Ned sees his shadow. The Ned is galactic. The Ned is truth and human decency. The Ned faked 9-11. His name is Moose Jesus. He is an angel, but he's also a vampire. He will give you eternal life, but he asks for eternal loyalty in return. This is where the moose motif started first appearing. I, I started drawing off food um, because I was thinking about my diet, and then I just it just started getting uh, away from food. This is a self-portrait of me I did a personality test the other day. Apparently I'm an NJA commander type, uh, which I think is, is more or less accurate. I take issue with personality tests in general, though I don't think they're great. I wasn't feeling great about my body uh, when I drew this, um, and I was uh, 
for whatever reason, driven to draw kind of off-brand versions of Homer Simpson and, and Gorf as my like shoulder angel and shoulder devil. Tonight I'm heading over to Gio's house. He's hosting a cocktail party because he got a cocktail making set and he wants to ha have a party about it. So I'm anticipating a late night. I'm gonna try and be productive for like another hour or so. Then I'm gonna make myself some food. Then I'm gonna head out and drink cocktails with Gio. I'm talking like an English Logan Paul. <sighs> Don't drink need gin. No, it's unspeakably bad, isn't it, Chris? It is it's, a little bit. It's, 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 it's not unspeakably the best, bad. But maybe yeah. you need to mix it with something, huh? <laughs> yeah, it needs mixing with anything. Like it must sambuca be... or vodka? No. no. It must be mixed with things. Fifteen twenty seven one five colon two seven. I woke up at three twenty seven in the afternoon. This will never happen again.